You've been set a brief. That brief is to serve a dish that incorporates stuffing. That brief was set to you by food critique extraordinaire, Jay Rayner. He is coming in to taste your dishes and help us judge. Charlotte's an inventive cook with some great ideas and bundles of energy. Importantly, so far, every dish she's made has tasted great. When someone says stuffing to me, it just reminds me of Christmas. That's what I'm going to be trying to show the judges today, that nice Christmas dinner, taste the stuffing, but mix it up a little bit without using your traditional turkey. So I'm doing um, like a Christmas stuffing with sausage meat, cranberries, pine nuts, sage, and that's going inside a piece of monkfish. Wow. I'm doing some of your traditional um, accompaniments to a roast. So I've got some potatoes, some chestnuts, mushrooms, sage, um, some apple sauce and some bread sauce and a uh, red wine gravy. Have you ever had fish and sausage meat? Yes. Where? At my, at my house this week. <laughs> stuffing a monkfish with a Christmas stuffing is very daring indeed. But all the things that Charlotte's done in the competition so far that are daring have worked. So let's hope this one works for her this time. You're rapidly running out of time, some of you. Get it on a plate, please. So three good slices. I'm quite proud of that. That's it! Time's up! Thank you. Charlotte, could you bring your plates up, please? Project manager Charlotte has made monkfish wrapped in bacon with a Christmas stuffing of sausage, cranberries, pine nuts and sage, served with sauté potatoes, chestnut mushrooms, sprout leaves, roasted chestnuts, apple puree, bread sauce, and a red wine gravy. Technically, it's very clever. And it does meet the brief. You stuffed a piece of fish. And the stuffing's held together, and it doesn't completely overwhelm the fish. I very much like the sauce that's gone with it. There's real depth of flavour in the amount of time you had. There is no doubting you know how to cook, Charlotte. Your fish is cooked beautifully. Uh, the bacon around the outside's got a little bit of texture because you pan fried it. The stuffing inside is cooked all the way through. The potatoes are soft and buttery. The Brussels sprout leaves are cooked nicely as well. That monkfish does take a little bit of time to get used to. But I do like your cookery. OK. I'd like to come to your house for Christmas, Charlotte, cos you make a really good Christmas dinner. I love your stuffing because it's got sharp bits of cranberry in it. It's beautiful. I'm really happy with the positive comments that I got. I took a risk and um, I'm happy I did so. I'd probably do the same thing again. You nailed, you nailed the brief. That's yeah. all you want. It's all right.